All right, so in the middle of your screen, we are watching a very, very new ant. Um, and it's very interesting to see uh, that they, once they get out of the cocoon, uh, they are basically helpless. And as you can see, the, the ant that is taking care of her is actually the very new ant. Uh, worker so um, it's super interesting to see that the first job of an ant in this colony is to take care of the other younglings uh, as you can see like the one right here is uh, like cleaning stuff uh, and we have one building stuff right here um, and I guess there is another one somewhere here that we don't see, but um, yeah, the the first job of the ants is to take care of the youngs, and um, that is interesting to me uh, to see that before they they go and explore the world and before they go and wage war and before they go and just build stuff and clean stuff and uh, make the entire colony work, the first work that they do is to make sure that the future of the colony is ready, to make sure that their sisters are doing well, to make sure that the babies are well nourished and licked uh, so there is no mold or parasite uh, hitchhiking a ride on them. It is like, I don't know, it's a very beautiful moment uh, and an eye-opening moment as well to see that much compassion from a small insect. It is basically the, the, the reason why they have been so successful for so long. They have mastered the key uh, component of life in society, and it is compassion. Com compassion is what makes us stick together. Compassion is what makes a parent take care of his helpless and useless child. <laughs> nice, that was a cool backflip. Uh, compassion is what makes us stick together and be able to uh, overcome problems that were not necess necessarily ours but um, nonetheless it is compassion that maintain the cohesion in the group and that make us learn from one another and gain experience from one another and gain the support of one another what is she doing with that stick, I wonder? Ooh, we don't really see <laughs> Everything is so dirty right now. <laughs> I, I really hope the ants start to clean inside. <laughs> Am I right? Teenagers, eh? <laughs> so dirty. Yeah, look at that. It's all black right here. And I, again, I, I really can't do much uh, to, to clean that. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> I did my part today. I, 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 do, uh, I did a thorough job at cleaning the outworld. Oh, we can see the first movement of antennas. This is fascinating as well. It's like watching the first step of your children. It's... It's quite something, you know. That that little creature is really tiny, by the way. That's a tiny worker. Compared to this big one, <laughs> the new workers of this generation are super small. Not sure why. Maybe I did not give them protein enough. Um, oh, look at that. It's It's moving. Look at that. Wow. Oh, wow, it's moving. Oh, it's fascinating. 
I don't know what to say. Like maybe some uh, like if it's the first time you see my channel and you watch this and you're not used to end keeping, you might think this is kind of cringe. Like, oh my god, why why this dude is getting so emotional over <laughs> a small baby ant? But boy oh boy, have I been uh patient <laughs> with this colony. I cut the queen back in June. We are now April of the next year. And we have now five workers. I have grown attached to each and every one of these ants. I know them by heart. I know their personality. I know how they behave. I know basically what they, their main job is in their society and to see the birth of a very new youngling is quite remarkable for me it's almost well i'm not going to say that but like it's almost as if um it was like watching your own child grow <laughs> I, I saw this little creature when it was an egg, and I saw it when it was a little larvae, and I saw it when it was a big larvae, and I saw it when it was a nymph, and now I saw it, and I see it as an adult. I have like the full life cycle over here. The only last step is for it to become an active part of society, and then it's going to die eventually. One one at a time, all the ants you see in here are going to die one day. And it is very sad, but it is very true. So all I can do is to enjoy each and every one of them for the time being and see how much they will make good use of their short time on Earth. Life is a choice death is not a choice you know death when you get death it's the last option but life is very interesting because it gives so many options and these ants have quite a lot to do during their short life and they are able to do much more than many of us human will ever do Every day they work, every moment that they are not sleeping is spent uh, furthering the main goal of survival of the colony. But there are so many ants now. <laughs> uh, I got used to watch only like four ants and now there is like six. <laughs> the, the queen included in that. Uh, like, wow. Of course, it's going to take a lot of time for the um, new larvae and stuff to grow up to be adult. So we won't see any new workers for the next month or so. But having five ants instead of three workers, um, it's going to help the colony quite a lot. But yeah, um, and I know I've been rambling this video entirety. Oh, we see Trophiloxus right there. Two, uh, two ants regurgitating. And we can see also the queen actively looking at her daughter and like kicking it. <laughs> kicking it with her big leg. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's, that's a mother-daughter relationship right there and like it's wow i don't know man it's really therapeutic in a way to just watch ants especially now that there is more but like i've seen the birth of every one of these ants i've saw all these ants except queen anne uh all of these ants were eggs and i filmed them all when they were babies and i recorded it all in a journal uh, to make sure I did not forget any important um, life moments.
Sorry, I just yarn. Uh, <laughs> so um, anyway, I'm going to leave now, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I really do enjoy my ant colony. I know my ants video don't get as much views as my fish videos, but um, first of all, the colony is growing, so it's getting more and more interesting. Second of all, I'm going to try this year to get another um, colony going, so we have two instead of one. Third of all, this colony, once it's reached like its third year, uh, we're going to have majors and super majors, so big worker ants. Like right now, we are we are just experiencing the little pathetic small workers. And they are already super interesting and super strong. Look at, look at this one. Like, look, look at how big this thing is. Like, it's twice its size, <laughs> and she's still carrying it as if it was a, like a big piece of plywood. Um, what was I saying? I got distracted. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not a good uh, narrator. Uh, anyway, it's amazing uh, what we're going to be doing. And I know for sure that, uh, as I was saying, like this colony right as of now is not the most interesting thing uh, compared to my fish keeping hobby. But wait until this colony grow. And as I was mentioning, I have planned to have a second colony of another species of ants. I'm not sure what the species event is going to be. I will have to either find a very young uh, colony and or uh, a queen and hope that she is not a virgin and start from that. But yeah, I want something else. I want a like, colony of smaller ants that grow quicker uh, just because, you know, the contrast between the two colony will be interesting and eventually i hope that all of you guys will enjoy it more and more to see the ants more and more like ferocious and stuff and slowly but surely occupying all the levels of this little thingy uh but yeah enough of me rambling about random stuff this was the first few moments of this little creature and uh, now we have a new worker. Anyway, goodbye and have a good one. If you've um, seen the video till that point, say lollipop in the comment section. I will know for sure you've watched my entire video. I will be very proud of you. You will gain my uh, respect. And that's something very big. So yeah, I'm your 25-year-old warlord, and here goes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo.